Hi, I'm Helen Griffiths. I live in Burlington, Ontario, and I'm going to do your craft with you today. The collage. Do you know what a collage is? I don't know if you can tell, but it's bits of cut paper that are glued onto another paper to make a picture. So I'd like to thank Arts Milton and First Ontario Arts Centre in Milton for inviting me to do this with you today. I have some watercolour paints here that I'm going to use. A whole bunch of different colours, but you don't need a whole bunch. You can use a few colours or you can use crayons or you can use coloured paper if you don't want to paint or if you don't have any paints. Um, you need a pencil, some scissors, but most of all you need glue. That's very important. And I also have a paintbrush and an old toothbrush, which you don't have to have a paintbrush is fine, and a sponge. So a little bit about me. I'm a painter and I like to paint. Lots of pictures of birds and food sometimes and all sorts of other things around me. So here's a picture that I'm working on right now. And it's a, a bird, a robin, who's, who likes to read. And he's catching up on his reading. But this isn't finished yet. I'm still working on it. And this is another picture of a robin who's doing some baking in the kitchen. I hope you like birds. We're going to be creating birds in their nests. Maybe with some eggs or broken eggs. First we're going to start with doing watercolour. We're going to we need a few sheets of cardstock. And we'll have one card stock as your, where your picture is going to be on, like this. And the rest of the papers we'll be doing painting on so that you can create beautiful colors like these. So you can use, you can use two or one or two or three papers, depending on how many different colors you want to have. Or you can make all those colors in one paper. And then we're going to cut them out into shapes to create the birds. So to start off with, we need our paint, our watercolor paints. And I've got lots of colors here, but you don't need to have all these colors. You can just have a few colors. All right. Now, so with this paper, I'm going to dip my sponge into it and make it wet all over. If you don't have a sponge, you can just dip your brush into it and make it wet all over. So, nice and wet. So you're going to find that your paper is going to curl a little bit because of the wetness. Okay, so now I'm going to try picking a color. I'll go for red. Make it good and wet. Lots of color in our paintbrush. And just paint it on our paper. And then I'm going to pick a separate color. Maybe I'll pick a, an orange. And try a different spot. And since the paper is already wet, the color is all mixed together. It can make very pretty colors. Another color I think will be yellow. You can see I put lots of paint on my brush. Now 
Picking colors that I like to use. Doesn't matter what colors. Well, that's a very strong color in there. And I think I need to put some more. Very nice. I love those colors. So that's one paper. Very wet. I'm going to put it here to dry. And I'm going to do another paper. I think I'll do two papers. One will be blues and one will be the oranges and yellows. So on this paper, I'm just going to use a paintbrush and wet paper. The paintbrush. There we go. Pale. I want a stronger blue. Maybe. Try this light blue again. Maybe now that it's been wet for a while, it'll be stronger. Open off the colors a little bit on your paper, and it makes a whole different color. Now, I'll let that dry. So I'm good with these two papers. If you want to do another color on another paper, you can do that. So, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. While we're waiting for that to dry, here is a book by Charlie Harper. And he likes to paint all sorts of animals. I'm going to show you a sample of some of the birds that he's done. And he, he uses shapes to create the birds. And he makes very interesting 
approach. Another one. This one. So you can see the simple shapes that he's done to create some very pretty birds. And another one down here. These are doves, and they're just simple thin shapes, like just a circle. Like a little piece of a circle there for the head, and then the long triangle as a tail. He used very vibrant colors in his work. So here's a nice shape here that's a cardinal. Small tail, and then little, two little triangles for the beak. And this one, the one triangle, triangle for the beak. And here's a really nice little nest here. It's little birds and asking their mommy for the food. See the circles? And then another sort of circle shape there in the beaks. And here's one of the robin flying around that he's playing. So that gives you an idea of that you don't have to do any specific, um, there's no specific formula on how to create a bird. You can do all sorts of shapes. On mine, I did pretty much like a half of a circle and then I just cut around to make a softer, rounder part for the head. And there's this bird here that was created by a friend. And it's got a head here, I think. I'm not sure which way the tail is supposed to go, but it can be any way you want it to go, really. Right? You have lots of fun with shapes. Okay, here's my piece of paper that I'm going to create my collage on. And I have it all ready. My surface is nice and clean now. No water's underneath the, on the table at all. So, and I have another piece of paper here that I'm going to use when I, after I cut my paper pieces, I'm going to Use that to do the gluing on. Now my paper is mostly dry, it's a little bit damp, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is turn it over so that I don't mess up the painted side. You can see, generally see what's going on there. So we're going to start with the nest. And you see with the nest, I did it in yellows and oranges there with a bit of greens and purples. And this one, it's mostly oranges and yellows. So you can do it, you can make your nest any color you want. So I'm picking the same colors that I did before, with the oranges and the yellows. And I'm gonna, I don't even need to draw on this one. Because I'm gonna take, I think, I'm going to take the part with the orange on it. I'm going to cut a strip, just a random strip. I don't need to draw at this point. And then I'm going to 
and then into strips. You can cut really strips if you like. This is what making a collage is all about. It's putting all sorts of shapes and colors together to create a final picture. And if you didn't have paint and you had colored paper, you can just grab a bunch of different pieces of paper that are different colors and start cutting without painting at all. But I'm a painter, so I like to paint whenever I can. I don't know how many pieces I need. So I'm just going to cut a few. Maybe I'll cut some longer ones too. See how far that gets. Right. So this is portrait and this is landscape. I'm gonna do your landscape. So I have my pieces of my nest that are gonna get glued down in different places. First we'll start at the bottom of the nest. So I'm gonna turn the papers, the little bits of papers upside down onto my gluing area and I'm going to start by going to glue on the backs of them. Okay. Make sure there's lots of glue so they stick down really well. Making the bottom of the nest. It's a curvy one in there. It's a flat piece. You just place them randomly on your paper. You don't want them to be all straight. So there. Well, that makes a very nice bottom of the nest. And you want them to do the sides of the nest. Very comfortable nest for the birds. We don't want the eggs to roll out of the nest, do we? This is a long piece. I'm going to break it in half. There we go. Okay, I need a couple more pieces. So maybe I'll use some of these other bits that I didn't cut out. I'm making very skinny pieces. You can make fatter pieces for your nest. Make sure you glue the backs of these papers 
It's easy to it's easy to mistake the front and the back sometimes with the very light color. This one in front. I think this is looking very good. Ah, uh, nest so far. <laughs> All right. So now, what am I going to do? Should I make a broken egg? Make a baby bird or a whole bunch of little eggs and the mommy or daddy bird. Maybe the mommy and the daddy bird. I could put two birds in there. Hmm. I think I will do a broken egg and a baby bird. Okay, so now what color should my eggs be? I think I'll do some purple eggs. I'm going to pick this part. So when I turn it over, I'll draw on this side. So the eggs. What did I say I was going to do broken egg? So I'm going to do, I can draw one large egg, which is kind of like a squished circle. And then That'll be the part that's broken in the middle. So, you just cut off this piece here. It's easier to cut a circle when you have a smaller piece. And I'm going to cut around a circle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Because since you're drawing on the back of your paper, we're going to see if you write, you cut on the lines or not. It's going to be underneath when it's glued. There we go. So that's my egg. Now I'm going to break it in half. It's already in half anyways. There we go. Turn it over, put the glue on the back. Lots of glue so it stays. We don't want our egg falling off our picture. Oops, it's kind of stuck. There we go. To my bird. Oh, I can make a purpley blue bird or I can make an orangey yellow bird. I think I would like to make a bluish green bird. So make a little slip thing in here. So, you have to make sure that when you do your bird, it fits in the area on your paper so it's not too big so that it doesn't fit on your page. But you don't want it too small either. So, I'm going to draw my bird here. So, I'm going to do a half circle. It's my bird. Mm -hmm. 
cut out bird's head, okay, the bird's head, and this can be the tail. Now if I want to make it a bigger tail, I can cut a piece from here. If I want it the same color, or I can pick a different color, and I can glue it on there like that. That's my tail. So I'll decide whether I'm going to put that in afterwards. I have to make a wing too, don't I? So, Here's my bird. I think the wing should be probably just a little bit smaller than the bird. Do another half circle. And cut that out. glue on the back of my bird. Make sure you get lots of glue around the edges, especially because if, if the paper is still a little damp, it's going to curl up when you glue it down, like mine are doing. He's going to be standing on his egg because he just came out of his egg. So now I'm going to Put the wing on. You can put the wing any angle you like. I'm going to have, I kind of like it sticking up a little bit on this one. Yeah. You put a dot where the eye is, and you have to do a beak still there. I don't like putting a tail on it. Then I'll have the tail stick up. So I'll tuck it underneath there. And I'm going to lift up the end of the bird. I'll put a tail there. There we go. Keep pressing it down so it doesn't start lifting up. All sorts of bits and pieces I can make another picture with. And then I'm going to take the yellow. I'm going to make, oh my goodness, this is really coming up. I'm going to make the beak. The beak just needs to be very small. It just needs to be a little thing. I might just cut that corner off and make that into my beak. How does that look? I think that's pretty perfect. So I'm going to glue it. And I think my bird needs some legs now. What color? So I can draw the legs on it, or I can pick a color. And I think I'm going to do, maybe I'll make the legs the same color as the beak. I think that would be nice. Right. So I just need to cut. Cut. 
to use penny pieces to make the legs. Right, so it's coming up a lot. I might have to take some glue and glue those ends down. There we go. It does not stay any flat. <laughs> Here we go. Got it up. Yeah. Put a book on it afterwards. Let it dry. And it can dry. I think that's a pretty nice looking picture. It'll go with my whole gallery of pictures now. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today, Little Sparks, in creating a fun picture. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And thanks again to Arts Milton and the First Ontario Art Centre in Milton. And to all you little sparks. <laughs>